Now, this is actually a pretty rare figure. Like, the only place I found it was Walmart. Right now. Back to the box. Ah. I realize it's the same coloration as the Roar and I actually like it. When they make a mini version of it. Active battle damage, yeah. I don't understand the backside. Like, if people review the backside, I mean, they want to see the figure, but it's kind of worthless, don't you think? So, yes, I even saw the exclusive Raptor in the store. I don't even have the Triceratops yet, but that doesn't really matter. At least I got the rare Pteranodon. The Roarvor, it's still there. Pteranodon, the battle damage, I doubt you'll find it. Anyway, let's get opening. So, here's a Pteranodon. It's a pretty nice figure, despite the teeth in his mouth. <laughs> but Mattel's the kind of people that like to get things wrong when it comes to dinosaurs. And the same thing with Universal, too. So, speaking about the sculpt, it's nicely detailed. I think it's the same sculpt as a Roarvor, only a few changes. For some reason, also the wings. Don't know why I said also, for some reason. Anyway. The wings are actually poseable now. I like the concept of them finally getting poseable wings for a Pteranodon figure. Here's the battle damage feature. And they got the legs posable. Finally, Mattel did something right. I mean, they did that with a Ramphorhynchus and a Dimorphodon, but the Pteranodon? Nope. Like, what kind of logic is that, Mattel? Answer me. Of course, the neck is not able to go up and down, but it can turn all the way... <laughs> but it can turn all the way around. Like, as if the dang thing has agile bones. So, here's a wing design. There's a hole right here inside. And I doubt it's going to be able to fly like that. But hey, that's the point of battle damage. The sculpt is really nice. Although I have nothing much to say about it since it's the same sculpt as the Legacy Collection to it on. Speaking, speaking of Legacy Collection, let's do a comparison. So here we have the Legacy Collection to it on again. Compared with the Battle Damage Pteranodon. The heads are the same sculpt. And pretty much the whole body. Just a few changes. And here's a Pteranodon compared with the Ramphorhynchus. <laughs> the first ever Battle Damage Pteranodon was where the crest was green, I think. Or some other parts. And the Battle Damage was actually on the wings, not the back. So yeah, I have no much... Not much words to say, since it's the same figure, just a couple of changes. You can actually give it the proper posability of when it's sitting down, or just standing. For example, this. That's actually pretty good. I'm proud that Mattel did that. Next up, the whale shark. This Takara told me whale shark. It's actually my first Takara Tomi sh figure. There was, I mean, I saw some around, like the T-Rex and the Stegosaurus. That was it. There was no Spinosaurus, no other creature that I adored. So, at Tuesday morning, yes, that's an actual store, they had a whale shark and a Pteranodon. And so, I was having a hard choice between which one to get. So, I finally chose whale shark. On the back, we have the seal, the blue whale, the dolphin, the whale shark, of course, the killer whale, the beluga, and the otter. What I hate about Takara Tomi is that there's little movement. The flippers don't move, and no other parts move. It's just, it's also with the dinosaurs, too. Because the arms don't move, the neck doesn't move, the tail doesn't, I mean, the tail does move. And the legs, jaws, and the tail only move. Oh well. Let's get opening. So, first we have this cool little background that can, comes in a box. This seems pretty well for filming. I just put it like that. And put the 
whale shark here. Speaking of the whale shark, it has a weird case. Like, you have two. Like, I don't know. It seems kind of cool. Whatever. I was actually waiting to history you. Anyway, here's the whale shark. It's actually a very nice figure. It's now become one of my favorite sharks because of its very beautiful body. How it's nicely shaped. The articulation is not bad. If only it did more articulation like over here in the fins, in the head especially. The head looks pretty nice too. It's pretty accurate. Although the one thing here is that there's a black thing over there and an eyeball over here. And I can't tell which is which. Is that the real eye? Is that the real eye? I'm so confused. It's a pretty nice figure. It's very smooth. It's very nice to play with. It has very nice. It's like very, it's like very nice to hold. Nice for stop motion. And if I can, I might get some stuff that Kayakosaurus uses to copy and paste figures. Like he gets this putty, makes a cast, and he puts the plaster in it. I want to do that too. Like make my own figures. Take apart this whale shark and use it for figures. Wait, thoughts about this. Over here, you can see the Takara Tomi thing made in China. That's possibly where Takara Tomi comes from. Either that or from Japan. Can't tell. But Takara Tomi sounds like an Asian company. I'm not trying to be racist. <sighs> yeah. I always thought Takara Tomi is such a weird company. Not much of the parts move, especially for the dinosaurs. The Pteranodon I wanted to get did have posable wings and a posable jaw, not the neck though. And it had a coelacanth that you could put in its mouth. So that's a plus. So here it is in its natural habitat. It makes it look real. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, comment what you think. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.